is Blue Explorer, and today I'm going to give you a tour of Club Penguin. And that's all for the town. And now let's go visit the coffee shop. The coffee shop is one of the... It is. This is normally where they have all of their parties. The big anniversary parties. Bean counters is right over there, so, yeah. And that's all for the coffee shop, but let's go upstairs to the book room. See what's there. And up here in the book room is where you can play Mancala. One of the games in Club Penguin. You can also read books from that. And you can also play Mancala. It's difficult to learn, but the instructions are right there, how to play Mancala. So yeah, and then the library's right over there. And I'll give you a tour of that. And basically, the library consists of a few of these books, you know. And I remember one that didn't even have the library. And here's a secret item at the end of Captain Rockhopper's journal. It's at the end sometime here. And then it's the key to his captain's quarters when he, whenever he comes. And then there's another one, the rock hopper and the stowaway. And at the end of this, there's a free item, and it's the friendship bracelet. So you'll always be a friend of this penguin called Bambidi up there. He was the stowaway on rock hopper ship. So those are all the books in the library. So then let's go visit the nightclub. Okay, well, here's the tour of the nightclub. This is the main floor of the nightclub. It's also called the dance club. I mean, I call it that, but... It is, it, it really is. I mean, during the puffle party, it was decorated for the purple puffle. So that that's all for the nightclub. And let's move on to the boiler room, which is also the place where you can take the newspapers, and they're also in that top drawer right there. You can see newspapers from a few weeks ago, so that's part of the room. And the boiler room, it's got a big boiler over there. Hence the name. Yes, old editions of the newspaper, like I showed you. It is, it really is. You can learn about the past couple of weeks of Club Penguin and stuff. And I think, I think personally, that that is very fun. And let's go back to the top floor of the nightclub. Up there, you can play the two games known as Thin Ice and Astro Barrier. And it's really not much compared to the dance floor downstairs, but it's just a nice place to go.
Yes, a few arcade games are found there. And really, there's nothing in the gift shop. I mean, it's just, you know, a gift shop, so. It's the gift shop. Yeah. You can buy stuff from the catalog. Down in the corner there. Colors and backgrounds can be bought as well by all the penguins. Not just members. And yeah, you use coins from playing games, so yeah. And now, let's go to the dock. Sorry it took so long to load. This is the dock. Yeah, you can play Hydro Hopper, formerly known as Ballistic Biscuit. Yeah, take a ride on the speedboat. You can't really do that, though. Okay, let's move on to the lighthouse. Or the beach. It's the home of the lighthouse, which opened in fall of 06. Yes, the pirate ship will be docked right around there where that empty space is. In fact, Rock Hopper's coming soon. And here's the lighthouse where you can find the drum set and the band. That's usually where the penguin band normally plays. And yeah, it's the lighthouse. The tallest building in Club Penguin. Well, yeah, that's a shocker. It was an empty building for a long time, but yes, the Penguins helped restore it. Yeah, pictures on the wall up there of Rock Hopper and such. Yes, the stage. And that's really all you do the lighthouse beacon decorated for many occasions. There's also jetpack game. And if you look out of the telescope over there, you just gotta click right there. You can sometimes see rock hopper. As I said, rock hoppers there normally. So let's go to the ski village. And ski village you can go tons of places. Yeah it's the ski village. Yeah, the base of the ski mountain, you can go up there. Ski lodge, sports shop. Yes, the famed tour place is right there. And now let's go to the ski lodge. I guess you can play Find Four here, and you can also go ice fishing just out that door and see there's a mullet on the wall. And upstairs, normally it has more Find Four boards, but they've saved the snow from the snowstorm a while ago, and saved it for not February, but March fun. And they're probably going to make some snow thing with it. And then here's the dojo courtyard, which was renovated by penguins a while ago. And if you go in here, you can play card jitsu on most of the mats. Going in there, you can play other penguins. And then outside on the dojo courtyard, that is the entrance to the ninja hideout, which I can go in to because I'm a ninja. And, yeah. So the forest, it's just really a forest that just kind of came there when they were starting to build Club Penguin. So, yeah. And now let's go to the Cove. The Cove is one of the newer places in Club Penguin, besides the stage. It's really new. And they discovered it one day when they were flying on a jetpack, and they saw this place, so... They thought that was kind of interesting. Here's the snow forts, where you can have snowball fights at either fort, take a side, blue, 
bed. There's the ice rink. Really not much happens there. Um, the plaza. It has the, p the pet shop where you can buy your puffles. The stage where there's a new play once a month, really, and the pizza parlor. Not a lot going on there. And the mine, our last stop. The mine. You can go inside and play kart surfing. And there's the pin there. And so that concludes our tour. And remember, subscribe. This was Blue Explorer. Bye.